In our last episode, we helped Mitch at the last plank look out for his old Uncle Ken. But while we were there, we saw a man sitting at a table in the corner of the bar. This is old Longfellow, the very fellow whom Avery said knew how to get to Acadia, where hopefully we can find Miss Nakano. Now that we've helped everyone here in Far Harbor, we can finally have a chat with old Longfellow. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia? Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. The last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. What's a fog condenser? The condensers are a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellows got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. Now, as we just learned, Old Longfellow doesn't really want to take us to Acadia. There are three ways to convince him to do so. The first is to tug on his heartstrings using the family angle. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Trust me, I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. If that's the way you choose to live, that's your affair. Look, if that girl's in some kind of trouble, time could be running out. We need your help. Clever with words, are you? The runaway's name is Kasumi. You know about her? Sounds like Cap Mavery's been running her mouth again. She should know better than to stick her nose where it's not wanted. Maybe I heard of her. Maybe not. This girl's all her family has. You'd have to be a real wretch not to give a damn. Some mainlander family ain't no affair of mine. Come on, give us a break. That girl could be in trouble. Christ almighty. You've seen better days, haven't you? Can't imagine living with a face like that. Suppose I'll have to help you out of pity. Bah! This goes against all reason. But... Or we can convince Longfellow that we're made of sterner stuff. Oh yeah? If you don't give a damn about mainlanders, what do you care if I die out there? Don't care much. But I got better things to do than guide fools to their death. I'm not some no-name mainlander. I'm tough enough for your little island. Sling a bit of lead on the hull and now you think you're ready to walk in the fog, do you? Things you'll see inland make that look like a Sunday stroll. Not all mainlanders have fully functional power armor, though. On that account, you'd be right fine. Really? Do I look like your average mainlander? Truth be told, no. I help the harbor out. I figure all of you owe me something, at least. If you're looking to square away some debt with the harbor, then you can get in line behind me. <laughs> well, I suppose there's a bit of truth there. But if we fail at both of those options, we can always bribe him. Everyone's got their price. How many caps is this gonna run me? Keep your caps. If you're set on doing this, I'll take my pay in whiskey. The bartender Mitch sells it. Grab me a flask, and then we can work on getting you to Acadia alive. Dude, can't I just pay you? If you need me, then we do this my way. One bottle of whiskey. I don't have it yet. No skin off my nose. Goodbye. Hope you wise up and leave safer that way. I'm sure the sole survivor would have been willing to pay more than it costs for a bottle of whiskey, but hey, if old Longfellow wants a bottle, we can certainly help him out. Whiskey's going for about 11 caps. That's his price, 11 caps. All right, old Longfellow, here you go. Hey. You got my whiskey yet? Here you go. Ah, now you're talking. I can get you to Acadia, but you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like, and then the real work can begin. 
Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my lurks out there. Don't order me around, old man. <laughs> you want to make this a one-way trip? Then by all means, ignore me. If you want to live, then heed me. I need to take care of a few things. Handle your necessities, then off with you. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me, then. With that, old Longfellow stands up and heads out the door. But before we follow him, we see that he has left behind a bit of reading material. He was thumbing through a copy of Islander's Almanac, Far Harbor Sightseer's Guide. This magazine adds new points of interest to our Pip-Boy map. Specifically, it adds the Cliff's Edge Hotel, Aldersea Day Spa, the Oceanarium, the Eden Meadows Cinema, Rayburn Point... Southwest Harbor, the Cranberry Island Bog, and the Old Pond House to our map. We'll be sure to explore each of these points of interest in due time. But for now, we need to hop back into our power armor and follow Old Longfellow. He meets us just outside. Let's head out of town. Acadia is above the fog line on the mountain. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this for the road. Tastes foul of sin, but it'll help. He gives us a stick of Mirelurk Jerky, a new consumable with Far Harbor. It heals 35 hit points, grants us plus 15 to poison resistance, and gives us temporarily a whopping plus 3 to perception. We can also craft this at any cooking station. To make one, it takes two pieces of Mirelurk meat, two tarberries, and one bottle of antifreeze. Ugh. We need to move through the main drag. Old mountain trail is what we're doing. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks, mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live. In the middle of the road by an abandoned Super Duper Mart, we get ambushed by trappers. You're not half bad in a scrap. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper Far Harbor woman out of you. <laughs> See, the fog can do a number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with, but now... When done, old Longfellow continues on his way. Until we pass an old maritime museum, which is now inhabited by ghouls. So you're dead! See what's left. Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. Game trails crisscross the road, so don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. Longfellow leads us towards a pre-war checkpoint. Passing through, the road begins to climb. And then, as promised, we get attacked by the local wildlife. We ain't alone. You like them puppies? <laughs> we grow everything extra mean on the island. <sighs> Still got a ways to go. A short while later, old Longfellow stops in the middle of the road. Hear that? Crawler. They usually stick to the deep fog. Best we steer clear. But you never know. We've met one fog crawler so far, and we know what absolute ammo sinks they are. When I was a young lad, no higher than your knee, whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. This story seems to counter what Alan Lee has told us, and we heard a similar story from Uncle Ken. The fog has actually been thicker, worse in the past. If that's the case, could it really be caused by the children of Adam? Found you! Go 
gulpers got a fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many of them around. We ain't alone here. Killing the ghouls, we wander deeper into the fog, until we reach a small grove of trees covered in glowing blight, whereupon a voice reaches out to us. Hold there. Stringing one more soul to their damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Who's she? One of them children of Adam Preachers started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Go ahead and shoot her then. She ain't worth wasting ammo on. Too bad I left my hunting knife at home. Sounds like none of my business. Lucky for you. Oh, whoa. Let's just settle down, okay? You're right. Waste of ammo. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures. And instead, seek the only true master of this land. Yeah, whatever you say. Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. At any point, we can kill her. Please, please. Let's count the ammo and see what's left. Interestingly, Longfellow doesn't seem to mind if we murder her, but Nick Valentine hates it. Alternatively, we can express interest. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you. Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family if he deems you worthy. Worthy? What do I have to do to join? There is a ritual his children must perform. If you succeed, you will be rewarded with entrance into our family. Suppose I've got nothing better to do. Huh. Adam usually prefers those with a bit more fervor. But nonetheless, if you wish to test his favor, seek the Nucleus. Okay. Sign me up. Excellent. Head to the Nucleus. There, Adam's plans for you will be revealed. On second thought, I'm good. So be it. But I would be mindful where you step. After all, you are in Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. If we ask to join, she marks the location of the Nucleus on our map, but we'll find many other ways to get this location. May you find his light. Far Harbor and Acadia are doomed. Better you realize that now. You are not beyond saving, sister. Adam may have a plan for you yet. May you find his light. Let us hope Adam sees as much potential in you as I. Far Harbor and Acadia are doomed. The children are the rightful heirs to this place. Head to the Nucleus. There, Adam's plan will be revealed. Longfellow's had enough, and we can continue to follow him through the fog. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. Acadia is not too far now. Soon the fog thins, and we see a dome-like structure in the distance. At last, old Longfellow brings us to Acadia. Here, he stops at the bottom of the stairs. And we've arrived. Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> Just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You saying you want me to stick around and watch your back? You should come with me. 
I can still use your help. <laughs> All right. Why the hell not? Beats drinking alone. With that, old Longfellow joins us as a companion. But of course, taking him on as a companion means Nick has to go back home. If we take Longfellow on as a companion, we can trade with him. And if we trade some new clothing with him, we can instruct him to equip it. And if he does, he takes off his Hunter's Long Coat, which we can then loot and use ourselves. The Hunter's Long Coat is an all-body piece of clothing, covering everything except for the face and head. So sadly, we can't wear armor over it. It has a base damage resistance of 40, grants 2 radiation resistance, and grants us 1 perception. But the best thing about the Hunter's Long Coat is we can upgrade it with Ballistic Weave. It is a handsome long coat, one of the best looking pieces of clothing in the entire DLC. So even if we don't want to run with old Longfellow, it's good to snag him as a companion just so we can take his coat. Longfellow can also give us a unique harpoon gun called Skipper's Last Stand as a reward for doing the randomized side quest, Shipbreaker, which I covered in a video that you can watch here. Since I want to explore Nick's story here on the island, instead, we'll tell Longfellow that he can go back home. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right, but I'm serious about the offer. I can handle things from here. Good luck in there. And I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together, I could think of worse things to do. With that, we complete the quest Walk in the Park, and old Longfellow heads back home to his cabin. We can now use Longfellow's cabin as a settlement. It, like many of the others we've found here on the island, is huge, giving us ample space to build. Longfellow doesn't seem to mind if we turn his cabin into a veritable city. I spent a great deal of time building up my Longfellow's cabin, and I showed it off in a video that you can watch here. Old Longfellow also makes a very interesting companion. Only two of our companions have flavor dialogue to complement the events that happen here at the island, one of whom is Old Longfellow and the other is Nick Valentine. So to get the most out of the DLC, we should choose to run with one or the other. Old Longfellow has an interesting and heartbreaking personal story, which he often alludes to. Keep saying to myself I should settle down someday. I think I missed the boat on that one. I covered old Longfellow's personal story in my video about Longfellow that you can watch here. We see that Acadia is surrounded by a scrap wall. There are a number of small shacks just outside. In one, we find an ammo canister. There's another ammo box on a guard post. And in the back of a ruined truck, we find a first aid kit. And on the ground level, at the very back of the building, we find a small shack with a metal box that has caps and two more ammo boxes on some crates chocked full of ammunition. Acadia appears to be an abandoned pre-war observatory. Near to the front door, we find a guard post built upon a turned over truck. Here we find another ammo box. And close to the observatory, we find another shack with a first aid kit inside. There's a stairway leading on top of the observatory. Here we find a small house, which must be used by the Acadia guards, though we don't see very many of them. Inside the house, we find an explosives box and an ammo box on the top floor. And with that, we fully explored the exterior to Acadia. To continue, we can open the front door and head inside. We'll pick up right here where we leave off in my next episode. I publish many videos each and every week on my channel, so if you don't want to miss that episode, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you have and you still feel like you're missing out on YouTube notifications, consider following me on Twitter at Oxhorn. I update Twitter manually with every new piece of content that I publish. I've got a brand new shirt in the shop. Things live in the fog. Celebrate the survivors of the fog with this brand new design that comes on shirts in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes and in a wide array of colors. You can find this design on other products as well, like smartphone cases, pillows, posters, mugs, stickers, prints, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. YouTube members and Patreon patrons are increasingly more important as the future of YouTube monetization becomes uncertain. So to all of my YouTube members and my supporters on Patreon, you have my sincerest thanks.
But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with the next episode in the full story of Far Harbor.